Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to an all new Minecraft video. So, oh crap. So it's today. Uh, oh, oh, oh shit. Um, oh shit. Oops. Yeah, well today we're, we're, I'm going to be doing an island tour. I probably shouldn't do F5 mode. So, the island starts out in this house. And we have a beacon. Um, yeah. And then this person has stolen all of my items and put them into, like, overpriced chest shops. And then I kept some of my stuff in here. And then more cake. And then more stolen stuff. Or a shop. I don't know. Slime. Now we've got these awesome posters out here. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Okay, now something I've built. I built this cactus farm. And it's been revamped with epic iron blocks and like glass and stuff. Um, it originally was built with like nether rack and other ugly stuff. This this is, used to be my shop. Um, and I got rid of it. Then I brought it back. So I've got some items here. Then the enchanting room. This video is gonna be very long. And then this here is my automatic melon farm and pumpkin farm um, and sugarcane farm. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And I revamped it with glass just so that it wasn't ugly. So we've got an armor stand floating around in some water. Yeah, he steps on a pressure plate, and then that provides signal to this epic tiki torch tower, which then powers the pistons. So yeah, here are the pistons. There's the torch tower and redstone. So yeah, then everything goes down, and it all gets hopped up into this hopper. When this just sorts the items into their different places, you get a lot of melons, so I have to empty that out every now and then. Not so much pumpkins. A decent amount of sugar cane. And then here's the random crap uh, folders. Chests. Mm -hmm. And then this area down here was my secret base, but then people discovered it. So it has a, um automatic cobblestone generator. Because I tried building one of those, and then they destroyed it. Got a bed just for fun. They they aren't very useful. Another portal, the other one was destroyed. And yeah, some messages reminding people that this is my stuff. So yeah, tons of stuff in here. Here, oh my god, stuff. And so while I'm at it, I might as well show you the nether. I sort of wiped this place out, the original little sky. My god, these skeletons are really, really annoying. So yeah, this is my um, little area. Nobody's gone to the nether in a while. And this is actually a dispenser, just because I build with whatever I have in my inventory. So this goes over to the other island that used to have spawners on it, but people got rid of the spawners. I've been trying to wipe this place out of stuff, but it's it's enormous. And then I believe there's a tower going all the way up to the top of the isle of this island. So that because there's glowstone up there. Okay, how do I get there, though? Actually, it's over here. Yeah, this was pretty tough building because it would keep glitching and lagging and I would, like, get shot off of this tower and start falling. So I'm gonna have to quickly do slash ISGO. And you can see now that we, we're getting close. You can see the stuff sort of come into focus. Oh, great, somebody put a block there. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh my god. What, what is, what's people today? Walk here. Oh, shit. Okay, now back to the island. So I've got some beacons here. We've got all of the effects of the beacons. And my other island homies made this awesome rainbow thing that I'd be too lazy to make. Okay, here we have um, this epic glass farm. That's built by a noob, also known as me. I didn't follow any instructions whatsoever when I built this, so that's why. It has like 30, 40, 40 furnaces in it, at least. And then this is an IG farm. I got some IGs from somebody. IG spawners. I've got cactuses up there, 
so when the occasional IG spawns there, it'll get killed by the cactus and will cause congestion and stuff. And it's been revamped in fanciness. And we've got a giant pool right here. I didn't build this, but it's pretty cool. Sploosh. This is our villager stable homestead thingamajig. Got a bunch of villagers in there. And again, it's built by someone else. And we've got some fanciness here. It's fancy whirlpools. And then we've got a bunch of horsies. Check these guys out. Oh, we've got some more horse armor. Oh, wow. Okay. Alaska is the original one that always had the thing on it. The saddle. Okay. There we go, horsey. Oh, yeah. Full boost. Oh, oops. Yeah. So there's also some stuff underneath the island. We've got Pinkwoody 44's uh, banner shop with tons of banners on it. In it. And then there's a second floor down here. And we've got a sheep farm for the banner shop. And I think, yeah, there's some jebs in here somewhere. And then down on the other side of the house, there's some more stuff. That's really not lit very well. We've got like a pool and a ton of mobs. And then we used to have cows, and we still do have cows here. And then we, there's chickens here. And then I dropped an anvil down through this hole to see which would fall faster near the anvil. Well, I fell faster, and then the anvil fell on my head and nearly, nearly killed me. And then this is the carnage of one of my automatic cobblestone farms. And now we're going down that vine ladder. I don't know if you noticed it before. It was in my shop. So, yeah. And I used to have some stuff down here, except I sort of destroyed it because um, it was failing pretty bad. And then the island homies had put stuff in it and... Yeah, it was, it was pretty decrepit and stuff. This was supposed to be a mob spawner, except I took all the pistons out, because pistons are real good to have. And this is one of the quick fall down things, where you can just jump and then fall down, and then hopefully you make it. This is some weird player dropping thing, or mob dropping thing, to kill them. And I took the hoppers out, and they also had a ton of iron in there. And I've been expanding it because this is the one place where I can build a gigantic cactus farm and the island homies won't destroy it. So yeah guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching.